In this brief demo, we will show you how to allocate samples to groups. First, we'll open the demo data set Romano British Pottery. Now let's click on the grouping tab. We see here all the samples are in group 1 initially. Now, I'll click on group 1 and I'm going to rename it to Clan Ederin, which is the name of the first group of samples, and go OK. Fine. Now, samples 1 to 14 are actually in this group, but they're not in the right order now, so let's, uh, by row value, no, data file order, there we are, so I've now reordered them in data file order, that's useful. Now, samples, um, 15 and 16 come from a place called Caldicott. So let's drag those into a new group using the left hand mouse button. We'll give these a name Caldicott, that's the name of the group, and click on OK. Now, the next sample so between 17 and 21, 17 and 21, I select those holding down the left hand mouse button. Then holding down the left hand mouse button again, I drag those to a new group. Up comes the dialog, and I give these the name Island Thorns, and click on OK again. Now the final ones, 22 to 26, also belong to a separate group. Yet again, select them using the left hand mouse button. Then holding down the left hand mouse button, I drag them to the Create New Group column and give them a new name of Ashley Rails. Now click on OK. Now, if I want to move a single sample from, say, Ashley Rails to Isle of Thorns, right click, and here you see it says Add to Group. And so I can add to Group Isle of Thorns. So let's so double click on it. Add to group Isle and Thorns, and across it goes. Similarly, double click on it, add to group Ashley Rails, and it moves back. So we can move samples if you get one in the wrong thing. Once we've got them done like this, the last thing we might want to do is to check on our colours and options when we're plotting. Now, this Ashley Rails is a rather sickly pink colour. So if I double click on it there, I can now choose, for example, a rather nicer orange or um, yellow type colour. I could also of course make the the dots of that one larger or even change them to say a triangle so they'll show up quite differently on the plot and then go OK. We're now ready, the groups are set and we can now run any analysis we'd like. The last thing I'd like to point out to you is that you can always reset the group file to go back to what was originally there or, and you can also save the group file as I will now do. Now it's saved on your hard disk and these groups will be there when you reopen it next time.